Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on circle theorems. Points A, B and C lie on a circle. So we can see the three points A, B and C are on the circle and the center of the circle is at point O with diameter AB. So the line AB is passing through the center of the circle and acting as a diameter. BD, line OCE and AF are parallel lines. We have to calculate the angle BOC, which is this angle. Now let us consider the two lines BD and OCE. We can see that for the two parallel lines BD and OCE, the points B and C are acting as the transversal lines, which cut the two parallel lines at point B and point C. So by using the properties of the parallel lines, we can say that the angle B is equal to angle C, which is 68 degrees by using the alternating angles of the parallel lines. Now let us consider the triangle OBC. The triangle OBC is acting as an isosceles triangle because the side OB is equal to the side OC as both are the radius of the same circle. Since the sides are same, we have angle C is equal to angle B which is also given as 68 degrees. Now since we have to find out the angle BOC, we can use the angle sum property of the triangle and write angle BOC plus angle OBC which is given as 68 degrees plus angle OCB which is also 68 degrees and they all sum up to 180 degrees. So now we have the angle BOC given as 180 degrees minus 68 minus 68 and this gives us an angle equal to 44 degrees. So we have found the angle BOC as 44 degrees. Now let us look at the part B of this question. Calculate the angle ACE. So we have to find the angle A, C and E. So this part of the angle. Now to find this angle, let us use a circle theorem, which is given as angle in a semicircle. So the circle theorem states that angle made by a diameter in a semicircle is always 90 degrees. I have drawn a circle over here with the center O. Let me draw a line passing through the center. So it represents the diameter and represent the two points as A and B. So the line AB is acting as a diameter which divides the circle into two equal halves. Now if I draw an angle by the two points of the diameter on any side of the semicircle, they always end up as making an angle of 90 degrees in the semicircle. So this angle is going to be 90 degrees, this is going to be 90 and this is going to be 90 degrees. Now let us see how we can use this theorem in solving the given example above. We can see that there is a diameter which is given as A and B and it makes an angle at point C which is in the semicircle of the circle. That means we have the angle ACB given as 90 degrees and in part A we had seen that angle B was equal to angle C because of the alternating angles of the parallel lines so we had it as 68 and since the total angle is 90 degrees we can get the remaining angle of C by subtracting the 68 from 90 degrees and that is going to give us an angle of 22 degrees. Now here we can see that OCE is a straight line so it is going to make an angle of total 180 degrees and we have seen that the part of angle C was got as 22 degrees so we can get the remaining part of angle C by subtracting the 22 degrees from 180 degrees. So we get 180 minus 22 which is going to give us an angle of 158 degrees. So we get the angle ACE as 158 degrees by using the property of the straight lines. So this is how we get the angles. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. So if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.